It's the show of the week. Hello, welcome back to Show of the Week, the weekly segment where we talk musical theater and where I wear flannel. This week, I want to talk about You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. This musical, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, is actually the first cast album I ever purchased all on my own. Back when that was the thing people did. You know when you used to buy an album and you didn't just listen to it on Spotify. When Man in Chair from The Drowsy Chaperone feels blue, he listens to The Drowsy Chaperone. When I feel blue, when I am set upon by a non-specific sadness caused by a combination of boredom and existential longing, I listen to your good man Charlie Brown. There are a lot of musicals that are deep and dramatic and moving and say important things over the course of several hours and get really close to making you cry. There are a lot of musicals that are raunchy and irreverent and just fantastic romps through the theater. And then there's your good man Charlie Brown, which, like the Peanuts comics it's based on, comes across as childhood poetry. It is simple and joyful and uplifting and will always leave me feeling happy. And it's an anomaly, right? The guy Clark Gessner who wrote it had written nothing before and found n no success with anything else he wrote after, yet this wonderful piece stands alone. It's very clearly an ensemble created piece. A lot of people worked really hard to hide the effort that went into creating just this simple, quaint, and lovely piece of musical theater. So many musical theater shows nowadays rely on big technical theater gimmicks or weird, out of left field character traits or situations, stuff that is so bizarre that you're interested in it. But your good man Charlie Brown, even without all of the pre-existing notion you have about the Peanuts characters, is just a quaint story of what it means to be a child and what it means to be human. And just trying to figure out your way through this world. And I love it. I love it to death. And you should too. Your good man Charlie Brown. Go listen to it. So then the fun part, right? I listened to the Revival recording. That's the one with the yellow cast album. That's the one I know. But there's an original that has the orange cover, and there's some very substantial differences between the two. Most of them you can blame on Andrew Lippa, which is really interesting. And so if you listen to the Revival in comparison to the original one, you have to find, I mean, there's a bunch of new songs that are very clearly Lippa-isms, but also just some of the new orchestrations, and you're like, whoa. That's, mm, it's like being a musical theater detective. Ooh, coming to Netflix soon, musical theater detective. Yeah, that'd be fun. Call me Netflix. We'll talk.